What's up, everybody? This is Rock Quarries and Caveman's uh, random comic book review. This week, or for the first episode, we're going to do Universe X number one. It was published in October of 2000. This is a Marvel published comic book. The story and the script are by Jim Kruger. The story, <laughs> the character designs, and the cover art is by Alex Ross, very famous um, artist in the comic book world. Um, all right, so Mikey, tell me what you got out of this comic book. All right, basically what I got is the world is kind of just at flux right now. Apparently there was some battle with Galactus, and now the vibranium of the Earth is kind of depleted and it's thrown off everything. It seems like the world itself has kind of been mutated as well as all these characters. Uh, you dive in, you see some familiar faces, but they are not too familiar. Let's see, you got Captain America, looks old as shit. The only way you can tell, he's got a shield and I'd like a torn American flag across, so obviously you can tell him there. Then it dives in, you see Peter Parker as an old cop, and he uses his fire powers a little bit, and then they mention Reed Richards and his wife, Sue Storm, so they're also old, and then you got the thing, and a bunch of other characters, and it just seems everything is just out of flux. The surface of the Earth is frozen over, uh, Everybody's, I don't know, there's people that are dead, people missing. The only thing, the only young character in it is Marvell, which is kind of weird just because he is, uh, I don't know, he's just as old as all those fucks. So I don't know, his mutation was different? I have no idea. Hmm. I don't know, if you have any other thoughts, uh, what do you what do I you mean, interesting things that I saw, they started off the book talking about how Doctor Strange was kind of the protector of the universe that they were on against evil and outside threats and how he went to his astral form and was betrayed by his girlfriend I think or something like that and she killed his astral form so he's been in a coma this whole time um, another interesting part uh, Loki shows up and kinda helps Captain America and Marvel get away from the mindless ones I think they're called something like that something like yeah uh, he helps them he kinda saves them if you don't touch them they don't fight and they're getting into a fight with them so he helps them and he doesn't look like Loki, he's got a fucked up face, he looks really weird. They didn't even know it was him. Um, apparently Loki was the one who helped um, kill Doctor Strange's astral form, but it turns out that Loki said that he wasn't the one, but he knows who did help. Um, what's his name, Immortus, which he goes by something else and this shows up and says uh, some crazy stuff to Reed Richards about mutants needing to live on a different earth. And that's the only way that humans will survive on on Earth. Not a different Earth, a different planet. And that's how they'll survive on Earth. A lot of crazy stuff. At the end, there's a robot. Um, who I don't know who that robot is. Do you have any idea who that I, is? I have no idea who the robot he's, is. <clears throat> he's talking about um, finding a key in this ruin that um, Uat, I think you say his name, Uatu, the Watcher, um, <clears throat> wouldn't give him answers, so he was figuring he would find answers here and that on Uatu's devices, they saw Galactus um, dying, which Galactus turns out, he's asking himself the question, is Franklin Richards Galactus, or is this this guy think that he's Franklin Richard, Richards that turned into Galactus, or is this Galactus who thinks he's Franklin Richards, or is he both? Uh, it's kind of confusing, um, and he kind of ends it saying, you know, the way my father told me is, you know, what if, two words, what if, so kind of leaves you hanging and you don't really know. <clears throat> There's a whole lot going on and we don't really have a preface for what's going on so we're very confused. Yeah, we were a little far behind but that's the fun of uh, the random comic book reviews. So we're trying to put the pieces together ourselves, what I can take. I think Marvel has got to be a big character in this. For some reason he's leading the charge. Captain America's trying to just protect him as... He Wait, that's his a dude? Thing. Marvel's a dude? I thought that was a girl. No, uh, Marvel is the original Captain Marvel. Oh. And, uh, he oh was yeah, okay. Part of the Kree or whatnot, and then eventually he transferred his powers over to the Captain oh, Marvel. Oh, okay. So that's I know that's what I gather. It it's very. They set it up to where definitely you're gonna have to dive into multiple multiple comic books. I mean, one issue is not gonna be enough to fill the full. So story. that brings me to my question: Would do you think you would uh, be interested in reading any more of this? It's it's definitely got me entertained so far. I would. Uh, 
It's got me intrigued. The mystery behind it, I don't know. I want to figure out more. So what about what about you? Yeah, I agree. I mean, maybe have to see if we can find ourselves a nice cheap trade and get all the issues and <laughs> kind of see what's really going on with this and see if it's worth it. So, all right. Well, <clears throat> verdict. We're gonna read it. Uh, we'll get back to you on that. Uh, this has been the first ever uh, random comic book review. I'm Rock Quarry. I'm Caveman. Catch you next time. <laughs>